Hey, it's uh, Brian here from Quantlabs.net. Uh, I'm going to show you something I haven't seen before. It just came up in the last year, I've never seen before. What I'm going to show you is a MATLAB algorithm. Uh, it's just basically a way to uh, build an algorithm within MATLAB, 100% MATLAB code here, uh, with a backtesting GUI, uh, graphical user interface, also has some risk management as well as portfolio management. All right. So what will happen is, I'm going to show you this, it's going to keep it short and sweet. Uh, there are um, one, two, three, four, five charts here. So the first one is the ES price, that's what we're uh, watching here, the ES. Uh, number of traded contracts, fastest low moving average. Um, obviously here with uh, threshold uh, values and a band. Uh, P&L per trade and then the capital. And we also have statistical as well, which I believe is this one. So that's what we're watching. It's momentum based, very simple, but it, it explores every aspect of a trading strategy. Now let's run it. Okay, so this is MATLAB here, uh, MATLAB 2013A, I believe, B, whatever, A, B. Um, and I'm just going to run it. Uh, right here is the GUI. Um, let me just start it all over again. So I'm going to run it. Brings up this GUI, which is so you get this little GUI when you run it. Uh, just one little awareness thing, imagey in the code. Uh, where's line 49 here? Okay, here in the code, yeah. Make sure you make sure you uh, change the file location of this text file. Uh, otherwise, it won't work. So in my case, it just did that. Um, we just continue from our GUI. Okay, so here's our GUI when we start it. We are watching 4,433 days. And now we're going to do a back test. So all that data gets loaded in. Boom, boom, boom. Here's the code. Uh, it's about 800 lines. One thing you start to realize is the amount of work it takes to develop one of these systems. So it's a good basis to work off to understand how everything works. Uh, in my case, obviously, I'm going to feed it real data. And I'm going to try to implement it into my own .NET uh, system. On that, I'll talk to you later, and uh, have a good day.